Welcome back to Upside Down Data. Let's talk about Algorand. So Algorand has been exploding since Election Day. If we just go ahead and measure this, it is up almost 100% from that day. Quite impressive. And if you're not familiar, Algorand is a layer one blockchain. It is basically a blockchain on which you can build decentralized applications. Think about decentralized finance, things like that. And one of the things that people really like about Algorand is it's very fast, it is very scalable, and it's very cheap to use. And that is one of the things that, especially the last cycle, got a lot of people into Algorand and very interested. It had some very interesting and strong technology behind it. Now, of course, the unfortunate thing with Algorand is if we just zoom out on its price chart, it has not fared very well since last cycle. So last cycle did have a very nice performance during that whole thing, but then it really fell off a cliff in the bear market. In fact, it set new all-time lows in the bear market, even lower than it was in the bear market back here in 2019, 2020. And now it has set a base and is trying to rally up out of that. So I wanna talk about is how high could it go? I wanna talk about some of our models, what they're looking at, when we'll be able to tell when this rally is over, and also when we might think that the cycle top is in, and then some longer term considerations when it comes to Algorand. So to get into it, I want to start off by talking about our short-term risk model. This is our short-term UDPI, Upside Downside Potential Indicator. Higher values mean higher risk, lower values mean lower risk. And you can see this model has done a really good job of telling you when to be buying Algorand and also when to be selling Algorand. Basically, buy low risk, sell high risk. If we look at what's going on right now with risk, you'll notice that it is shot up to the upside. We're actually at a similar level to where we topped out in both this local top here in December of 2023 and this local top here in March of 2024. Now, will this be another local top? Well, it's certainly possible, but one of the things to note is that right now we're very much in the early stages of a probable parabolic phase of the market cycle. Think of something more like this, more so than something like this. And if that's the case, we'd expect the entirety of this model the entirety of this range should be in play. So that's where I think we've already rallied a lot and it wouldn't be shocking to see Algorand have to cool off, consolidate what short-term risk cool off from here, but we have the full range to play. And so that's where I think we could see Algorand continue to track higher from here. This doesn't have to be a ceiling like it was these times before, though it certainly could be. But I think in the broader sense, it doesn't really matter. Do we really care if this is just an intermediate top if the ultimate destination is way higher in a big parabolic bull market? And that's where I think looking at something like the long-term UDPI, which cares about moves to play over months to multiple months, much longer in this time horizon, makes more sense. Because this is still quite a bit lower, still below neutral zero. And if it's like last cycle, again, we have the entirety of the model to play with, the entirety of this range. And I won't be really beginning that concern until I see this model getting all the way up to closer to five. And even then, there could be some remaining upside before the cycle top is even in. So that's where I think if this is the beginning of a full-on alt season, a big parabolic move, we haven't seen anything yet. And I think Algorand probably has more room to move to the upside. Now, whether or not it can reclaim the lofty heights of last cycle or especially break to new all-time highs, time will tell. I'll be watching the model. If we get up to five before then, that might be less likely. If we are able to chart a course where we don't get to these super extreme levels that quickly, then it might be more likely that we can actually go ahead and get there. But that's one of the things I'm going to be watching. Now, one of the things we can also look at to tell us when is not only this short term run over, but also when is that maybe that longer term rally at an end is our trend confidence indicator or TCI. So this model cares about trend as the name implies. And what you want to look at with this model is how is it moving in relation to price? If you see the TCI moving up aggressively, then price will often follow. The TCI moves down aggressively, then that tends to signal that you're either at the end or near the end of that rally. Some downside will likely follow, and that goes on and on and on. And what we're seeing here is a big expansion of the TCI. We're kind of slowly trending up against price here. Big explosive move. Now what we want to look for is when does this decisively move to the upside? If this continues up, that's a good sign. Means that this short-term rally has more health. Moves down aggressively, that'd be concerning. We go off to the downside. Now, if we do see this move down aggressively, what that would tell me is that we got extended on short-term risk. It's a short-term cooldown. Probably need to let this reset a bit before the next leg up. Because if that happens, we're still at low enough of a long-term risk that's unlikely to be the cycle top 
again, if we're going full on alt season, it's not really the conditions to have a cycle top if risk is this low. But if we're to see long term risk be really high and then see something like we did like this last cycle, that might suggest to me more that there's a possibility where they're at or near that cycle top. More reason to be worried. But we're not anywhere near that yet. So not financial advice, but when I look across those indicators, it tells me that Algorand, though maybe getting overheated in the short term and needing some consolidation, long term has still has plenty of room to work with. And we'll know what to look for once we get there for when that move might be over. Now, moving over to longer term considerations, one thing I do want to know, because I think it's really critical to keep an eye on this when you're thinking long term in crypto, is the supply dynamic when it comes to Algorand. So one of the things that was quite concerning about Algorand going into the last bear market, or as we were in the last bear market, was how massively the supply, that's what I'm showing you here, circulating supply for Algorand, how massively it had expanded over the last bull run. We went from under a billion algo in circulation to where we are now, 8 billion Algorand in circulation in an extremely short period of time. Now, there were some structural reasons why that happened. There were actually some things built into Algorand where as price was hitting new all-time highs, it led to new vesting being unlocked for early-term investors. So there were some, in my opinion, rather silly and short-sighted decisions that were made with Algorand of how they designed the tokenomics. The good news is that now the total max supply of algo that will ever exist is 10 billion, assuming nothing crazy happens that they would, in governance processes, vote to increase that. But hopefully that wouldn't be the case. And that in theory, there's a limited amount that's left. They can't do this again. That if we go into a full on bull market, there can't be this massive of an unlock of Algorand another time. So that's the good news. But the bad news about this is that when you're thinking about can Algorand get up to his prior all time high, you have to remember that now it's gonna to have to do that with 8 billion algo circulating instead of for this first top here, less than a billion, for the second top, we were at about 3.7 billion. And what that means is you need way more demand to get to that same price. Supply and demand determines price. Before we had lower supply, so you need less demand to get to this price of let's say $2.38. This time around, we'll need substantially more demand to get up to that same price given the massively higher amount of circulating supply that's out there. So in a bull market, you can see this happen. Hype cycles take, take hold and you see something pumping, people will dive in, new retail investors come in and that can really shoot price up. But I think when you're thinking longer term, it is something that is worth being worried about. And certainly anchoring yourself to the prior all time high can be a little bit dangerous if you don't also consider the new supply dynamics that are out there. So never say never in crypto. In a full on bull market, anything is possible and algo could go and set new all time highs. But just be aware it's doing so in a more difficult environment now than it was here given the supply situation. So just something I wanted to note. So I think Algo will do just fine in a bull market. It has plenty of room to work with, but be mindful of those longer term data. All right, if you like the content, or subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and follow us over on X. I'll have updates for our models and more over there. And go to our website, partydigital.io to see live data for our models and more.